Hello, my name is Tony James, and this is My Seattle. My Seattle, my Seattle, my... <laughs> Today, I'm going to take you on a little journey that I love to take all year round. Um, it's very magical and we're starting here at the wonderful Volunteer Park, one of my favorite places to bring anyone uh, who's visiting to Seattle. And if you are, come and join us sometime. Check it out. The park is also home to the Asian Art Museum, which recently had an upgrade. It is one of the best museums in Seattle. Right next door to the park, you can drive or walk your way to Lakeview Cemetery. I take people to this cemetery every year because at the very top, you'll find founders of Seattle and also a very cool Hollywood experience. Check this out. find yourself in the presence of two Hollywood icons, Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee. We are at the very top on 17th-ish. Look at those clouds. This is one of my favorite places to come in Seattle and it's all within about a mile from my home. Off in the distance there, you can see Lake Washington, where it connects with the Puget Sound or Lake Union, I should say, excuse me. So if you're planning a trip to Seattle or you do live in Seattle and you've never been to this beautiful, beautiful cemetery, and it's quite magical. The trees are just phenomenal. Look at this. Look at the scale of this. It's huge. So if you do happen to go on this journey I am taking you on today and you are taking your electric bike or your electric scooter, uh, I highly recommend starting at the very top of Capitol Hill, any direction you can go down. You're most likely, if your scooter is like mine, it will charge as you go downhill, which is kind of nice because there's a lot of freaking hills in Seattle, Washington. What I would do is I would drive my car or take an Uber with my electric scooter to Volunteer Park. And then I would definitely just spend the day riding my way down to the U District. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. I probably won't go there today because I just want to show you my favorite little parts of this particular journey I'm going to take you on that I'm taking you on. It's a gorgeous day. Look at this. Look at this day. I'm at the very top of this ancient cemetery. Well, ancient. You know, old. It's very old. And it's just, the wind is blowing. The trees are blowing in the, in the breeze. It's very magical. I'm very thankful. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Wouldn't you agree? And here we are. Just off in the distance is the Husky Stadium. Look at this view. And on an even more clear day, you can see off to the mountains of the east. There's this gorgeous sculpture. This is a great place to smoke out. And then we're going to go to an even greater place. So then you're gonna backtrack, take a right out of the cemetery on 15th, and you're going to take your first left at the stop sign, Gaylor, hee <laughs> uh, And then you're going to go down Gaylor to Interlaken. You're gonna find yourself at 19th Avenue and interlocking and you're going to take a left down 
Interlaken. Or is it pronounced Laken? <laughs> uh, the houses around here are just freaking beautiful. Um, ooh, do you hear that crow? He's beckoning me into the woods of Inner Laken or Laken Drive East, Seattle. Public transit situation. This is 12, the 12 bus, and it will take you all the way up 19th Avenue. At this intersection, you will find two amazing options, y'all. You can go that way on your bike or your scooter or your car even. Boom. Hey, perfect timing, bro. And then there's this option, which I'm not sure I should take with this scooter because I think I could really annoy people. But down into this situation, you are going to find some of the most gorgeous trees in the inner city of Seattle. Um, oh, fuck it. I'm going to go down there. <laughs> I pay taxes here. Fuck them. Okay, I decided I'm not going to be that guy just because. But these redwoods, right at the entrance of this most incredible trail. And you go down into the, all that situation. It goes down and winds down and around and comes out down there. And I'll take my little scooter there and show you from the bottom up soon. But look at these. Right here, right here in the city. Downtown is just like, what, two miles away, maybe? This is incredible. I, I'm just gonna keep on saying it. This is the best city in the world. You got water on all sides of you. You got this pathway to Canada. Girl, <laughs> you need to get out of the US, come to Seattle. <laughs> Beautiful. And here I am once again at 19th and Interlochen Boulevard, East Seattle, Washington. And I just rolled down from the top, that was 19th. Uh, whoever made these streets were stoned. So now you come to another kind of lower road which doesn't allow cars, but I believe you can have bikes. I believe, well, I know you can have bikes because it's telling me to use my bell, which, <laughs> I got the cutest bell in Seattle. Let's check this out, shall we? All right. Trail number one. So this will take you up into that area that I was uh, filming from above with the redwoods. Um, it's just this big old chunk. Uh, uh, Google Earth interlocking and you'll find it it's beautiful and it smells like uh rainforest here we just had a fresh rain the last couple of days and actually you know if i'm going to be honest i asked for this weather because i got this scooter and i have not had time to go to my favorite spaces and places which normally takes me a good hour or so to walk to and around and all that shit but with this little scooter i can visit my favorite places which are just a few miles from my house and get home and go out and hang out with my friends whatever needs to happen but uh i will take um full responsibility for this gorgeous day because i'm witchy let's go baby Whee! And here we are at another trail that comes down from those Redwood area, all the way loops around. There's several trails actually up in this situation. Um, and you can be let out at various different points, but you will end up on this no car inner Lake and East drive East, um, walkway runway and, uh, uh, you better work, girl, and get your best girlfriend and go for a walk because if you live in Seattle and you don't walk here, you don't know about this place, you are not living your best Seattle life. And that's just uh, truth. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, as a matter of fact, my band Lady L80, we actually filmed a video right down there called 8 Bitch. 8 Bitch. Look it up. <laughs> Well,
Well, the cottonwood is just crazy today, y'all. Um, now I'm going to take you to a place called Montlake, Montlake Ballfield. And when you come out of that one area, there's a little walkway. I'm going to walk my scooter down so I do not kill anyone or myself. But the thing about Seattle is we got this rich, 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 rich plethora of these little tiny thoroughfares, walkways and stairs throughout the city that will take you from one height all the way down. We have Boyer Avenue East and Hal East Street. That's where you're going to come out at. And you're going to take a left and we're going to go to the ball field. Get you a look at these beautiful homes in this area. Um, this guy's a local artist. When you come by his house at night, all of this lights up. My buddy Chadka introduced me to this place last summer and I just fell in love with it. It's called the uh, Mont Lake Cut. And what that means is Lake Washington is connecting with Lake Union, I want to say. And I've been through that little uh, way. Over there is the bridge, right there. That's the U District Bridge right underneath there. And this is, uh, I don't remember where this goes. It's not Bellevue, it's somewhere out there. It's going east. Who cares, I never go on it. Why? Because I have this. Look at this. The Mont Lake Cut. And here is the ball field. Look at this beautiful day, y'all. There's the car entrance. There's where I just came from. Boom, where the dogs are playing. That's where I just was. So there's little trails throughout here. There's another trail there. Shall we go? Let's go. Now you know, you don't have to do the walking. You could just drive here. You can ride your bike, you can walk here, and you could be with the ducks. It really is just like a little marsh and it's fabulous. And there's more trails throughout this whole thing. I don't have all day to do that because I have to get back to Capitol Hill, which is up that way. <laughs> so we've come all the way down. This is the very bottom down to the water. We've come all the way down from the top of Capitol Hill which is technically 17th, but we were on 15th. Look at this. I have came, it took me, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to even get here. And if I wouldn't have done all that stopping and talking to people like I do, I came all the way from the top of Capitol Hill, which is 17th. We were technically on 15th at the wonderful Volunteer Park. And now here we are at Montlake ball field also the interlaken locks or what would mont lake locks isn't this beautiful and this is all just from up there so we went callan we went from volunteer park to mont lake cemetery or lakeview cemetery look at this 
Tony, just do a voiceover. Look at these ducks. So, you walk to the ball field, heading south, and you'll come to a trail that I'm gonna take you on that will take you to the Interlochen Bridge. Laken, Montlake Bridge, Montlake. Run there, girl, you go, you run there. Wow, those dudes are fast. <laughs> so you can enter this trail actually just adjacent to the parking area, which would be right there. See how these people are entering? Let's go. Whee! Let's take a short cut. Whoa, whoa. Yes. So while all these poor people are stuck in traffic, I'm enjoying this gorgeous day of commuting. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry about it. That woman just smiled at me because she could hear me. <laughs> Not sorry. I'm taking you to Montlake Bridge for the end of this particular journey, but someday I'll take you to the GU Dub campus. Let's follow them. Oh my God, and here we are. Perfect timing for these boats. Welcome to the jungle, it gets twice here every day. Look at this. So the Mont Lake locks, y'all. These people are traveling in between Lake Washington and Lake Union on this gorgeous, incredible day. And these people on a Friday night are just trying to get home. But what I really want to show you is on the other side of this Frogger situation. Uh, maybe I will use the light. That's probably smart. Well, I decided that trying to get over to that side of the road with all this going on, my it's just not worth it. Seattle. <laughs> Uh, because my this is my Seattle and I learn Seattle. every day. I hope you enjoyed this. My I know I certainly have. Now it's time to go drink <laughs> at the Cuff with my gay friends. <laughs>